friend of somebody who's called on the Indian diaspora in, uh, in the United States, which is very large and very successful, uh, to contribute uh, their talents to Indian progress, and, and that's something that uh, we welcome. And we discussed uh, how we can further refine our strategic vision, uh, our common joint vision, uh, moving forward for uh, security uh, and partnerships. And that encompasses everything from scientific exchanges, educational exchanges, uh, to security cooperation and defense procurement. Uh, on all these issues, the Prime Minister has been an outstanding partner, uh, and it reflects the fact that uh, as the two largest democracies in the world, two of the largest democracies in the world, we have an opportunity to uh, help define a, a common set of principles that are consistent with what the United Nations believes and are consistent with what both India's and the United States uh, founders believe, that governments uh, are there to serve their people uh, and to provide uplift and prosperity uh, to uh, everyone. Obama, members of the media, it is a great pleasure to meet President Obama in New York. Thank you for your hosting this meeting. I deeply value your friendship and your vision and commitment for the relationship between our two countries. We have achieved significant progress in our bilateral cooperation and international partnership. I was in Silicon Valley over the weekend. I experienced the strength of American innovation and enterprise that provide the foundation of American success. I also saw the driving force of our relationship, youth, technology, and innovation, and the national partnership of Indian and Americans in advancing human progress. California also reminds us that India and the United States are a part of the dynamic Asia-Pacific region. Amid the problems that the world faces today and the global challenges that we see ahead, our partnership is a great significance for us and our world. We can apply innovation and technology for achieving sustainable development goals, including combating climate change and conserving nature. President and I share an uncompromising commitment on climate change without affecting our ability to meet the development aspirations of humanity. We have both set ambitious national agendas. In India, our major include not just a plan to aid 175 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2022, but a development strategy that will enable us transition to a more sustainable energy mix. This is an exercise we are undertaking, undertaking in the spirit of our culture and tradition, but also because of our commitment to the future of this planet. Our extraordinary bilateral partnership is the energy sector focus on clean and renewable energy and energy efficiency. I also thank President Obama for his positive response to my call for a global public partnership for developing affordable, clean energy source, and that will enable <coughs> faster adoption of clean energy across the world. We should work together to advance the goal, and it is equally important to develop mechanism to ensure that the affordable also become accessible to those who need it the most. We look forward to comprehensive and 
concrete outcome in Paris with a positive agenda on combating climate change, which also focuses on access to finance and technology for the developing world, especially the poor countries and small island states. I thank President Obama for U.S. support for India's permanent membership of a reformed UN Security Council. I also sought U.S. support to complete the reform process within a fixed frame, time frame. I express our appreciation for continued U.S. support for India's membership of the international export control regimes within our targeted time frame. Our partnership addresses a broad range of strategic and security concerns. Our defense cooperation, including defense trade and training, is expanding. As extrinsic terrorism threats grow and new ones emerge, we have resolved to further deepen cooperation on counter-terrorism and radicalism. We have just had a successful cyber security dialogue. We have agreed to further strengthen our consultation and cooperation on helping the Afghan people combat terrorism and build a peaceful, stable and prosperous future of their nation. I welcome the progress in giving shape to our joint strategic vision on our Asia Pacific and Indian Ocean region as also our joint engagement with regional partners like Japan. This will also strengthen our maritime security cooperation. To further increase our strategic engagement in the region, I look forward to work with the U.S. for India's early membership of ASEAN Pacific Economic Community. Our economic partnership is a key driver of our relationship. I have had excellent meetings with business leaders in New York and San Jose. I am very pleased with the confidence in India and value their constructive feedback and suggestions. We will also continue to work towards a stronger bilateral framework of economic cooperation, including the Bilateral Investment Treaty and Totalization Agreement. This meeting and my engagement in the U.S. demonstrate the extraordinary depth and diversity of our relationship. Our meeting today was very productive in advancing some of our immediate priorities as also our broader strategic partnership. Thank you. Thank you.